Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more Power Query video and today guys I'm gonna show you how can we increase our data set horizontally, I mean how can we connect two table, two data sets and create a new one horizontally, okay? So I'm gonna show you how can we build a join on Power Query, so let's do it together. So guys, first of all, I'm already here on my Power BI platform, so I have to just move on to Power Query and I can do it. Just click once here in transform data and then transform data again. So instantaneously, Power BI just shows us this new window called Power Query Editor. On this window, I can check on the left side these two data sets, one's called Sales and the other one called descriptions, okay? In both, I have the same, I have only one field in common in both data sets, the ID of the product. So I have the ID product in the sales with the number of sales, and in the description data set, I can check ID product with the descriptions of those products, all right? First of all, guys, I'm gonna just connect these two data set, but I need to check uh, the type of the fields, okay? In this case, th these fields are, this ID product field is a dimension for my project. So I don't wanna use a dimension as number in my data set. So as a result, I will just click once here in the number one, two, three, and I will just replace this for a text text type, all right? And I will just put it replace current because I want to Power Query just change this chain type step for this one, just replace for this one. So I will put it replace current and you will see now it's a text, a text type, this field, and I have to do the same thing on this data set called sales. So I will click it here, one, two, three, change for text, replace current, and finally, I have the same structure in both, the same structure of the ID product field, I mean, okay? And now it's time just to create a new data set with three columns, one call it ID product, the second one sales, and finally the descriptions, okay? How we can do it? Uh, we can just click over here in the right side of the header, of a Power Query, just click on this part called Merge Query. Then you have just to select the first data set, the field, and then connect it with the other data set that you want to uh, connect horizontally. In our case, the second data set is the data set called Descriptions. I cannot click in Sales because Sales is currently the one over here, okay? It's because I am in Sales data set and then from this data set, I click on Merge Query. That's why we have Sales on this position, the first place. So I will click on Send Descriptions and then we, we can see both data sets, but we have to do one step more. Which step? We have just to tell to Power Query which field we want to connect, which field are the key for the both data sets. In our case, ID product. So I will click on ID product over here and I will click again in the same field on the second data set. Finally, I can just check uh, under here and I will see this flag called this check symbol in green, that means this uh, connection has successfully done. So the selection match is 10 of 10 rows from the first table, which means that I have now 10 fields that I have on these sales are the same fields that Power Query found on the second table, okay? That's the meaning of this match. For example, if I have on the first one just five products, for example, ID one, two, three, four, and five. On descriptions, I have 10. In this case, Power Query uh, would show us the number of uh, mats uh, related to five of them rows, okay? Just to show us that we have five that 
successfully matched with this the second data set but we have still another five another five that we don't have connections in both data sets and how can we manage this kind of difference when we find this kind of difference we just move on to this part join kind and here we can just tell per query how to work with the max okay if i put left author which means that power query will just connect all the products from the first data set and we will we'll try to find these products on the second data set and just bring data related only to these fields that we have on sales data set okay why just the sales because sales is the first one that appear which means the sales is the left data set in our model all right if we put it right is the opposite of this so in this case uh power query will just uh, show us the results related to the products that we have on descriptions but uh, if we don't have this on sales power query will just uh, erase this information okay just the descriptions is mandatory to show in the final results and also of course the full water means everything for both data sets all right inner we have this inner information over here inner means that only the fields that we have in both data sets will show in the results okay if you have if you will have one on one data set and we don't have this one in the second one power query just forget these fields and they'll show us in the results okay um then finally we have left empty right empty me means the only the data that we have in one that we don't have in the second will show us so if you, you choose left means fields that we have not fields but rows that we have on sales that we don't in descriptions and right empty means we have on description but we don't have in sales okay that's the left empty the difference between left right empty and left to right outer it's because on these uh two case over here power query show the fields that have match and don't have match in this case it's just those that we don't have met okay that's the meaning in our case i'm gonna use just left outer and finally i will click on okay because this is the join that i wanted and then guys you will see a new columns over here with table descriptions in each row and these symbols over here these arrows uh to both sides so if we click on this symbol we can just select which columns we want to bring from the second data set from the description data set in my case guys i don't wanna uh, bring the id product because i have id product on my data set already so i just want to bring description so i will click on descriptions and then guys you have to check this part because if you just uh if you not unselected this one power query will create the name of the table and then uh, and the, the name of the table and then the, this, the name of the field okay so we use the name of the table as a prefix of the column all right so in my case I just want to bring description first of all I will just show you how these things works look at over here so I have the descriptions and I have descriptions again which means that I have the name of the table and then the name of the field. So this is not good for me. I don't want to use the table as a prefix. So I will click again on this setting tool over here. Click once. And then I just have to move on to this part and then we either erase the prefix, right? So now I have just the name description and the descriptions. Okay, guys, if you anytime you want to change the the columns for example oh i bring just one column and i want to bring uh, two columns from the second data set anytime you can just click on this setting a symbol over here and select again which colors you want to bring for example i will just bring id product now if i click it i can see just id product 
if I click again and put just the description, I have just the descriptions. And finally, if I want to put it some prefix, for example, table two, I can just write under there and I will see the results on the name of the column. All right. So that's why we can connect tables in order to get horizontal results in our data set. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like it, don't forget to sub to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are not yet, don't forget to share this content with anyone that you think will be helpful to see this kind of content. And also guys, if you want to just improve a little bit your knowledge and you want to see more content related to Power Query or even Power BI, you can just move on to our youtube channel there there are two playlists one called power bi for beginners another one power query for beginners and you will increase a lot with more and more and more content okay we updated the content uh, weekly by weekly but every single week we have a new video for you could be power bi or could be tableau or other data platforms but always helpful okay so that's all for today and see you in the next video bye